I have Android Canary installed on my Pixel 9 Pro XL here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install firmware updates to this specific branch of everyone's favorite mobile operating system. I know the list of supported devices is rather small, but I would love to hear how many of you have had a chance to try out Android Canary. So please use the comment section down below to let me know. That way, I can see how much of the update that I should show off here on the channel. Now, I have read that Google is sending out over-the-air updates for this branch, but I have not been sent any update notifications yet. And when I check via the settings page, it says there aren't any updates waiting for me to install. However, some folks are getting these over-the-air update notifications. So today, I wanted to do a video showing both methods. That way, you know how to update Android Canary even if you aren't getting those notifications sent to you. Just be aware that these updates are being released even if you aren't being alerted to them. You can usually find these details about updates in the Android beta subreddit or the Android developers blog or even the Android developers X account. I'll be sure to include all of these links down below. And these are all great places to check for news about new versions of Android Canary. If your device is actually accepting those new over the air updates, you can find this out by first bringing up the settings application and then scrolling down to the system section. From here, you're gonna to look toward the bottom and look for the software updates page. And right here, you should be told whether a system update is waiting for you or not. If not, you can dive into this first section, look for that blue check for update button in the bottom right corner, tap it, and check to see if you have an over the air update waiting for you to install. If you do, you can tap that install button from here and you'll install it just like you would any other update. However, if you're told that your system is already up to date and you know there is a new build waiting for you, then you can manually install that update yourself. After you have learned about a new firmware update for your installation of Android Canary, the next thing to do is bring up the Android Flash Tool website. So we're going to load up that page on our desktop or laptop PC. And then we need to connect our phone to the PC with a USB cable. And then the last thing that we need to do is make sure that we have USB debugging mode enabled. And then we need to make sure that we allow USB debugging access after we have connected our phone to the PC. So we have brought up the Android Flash Tool website at flash.android.com. We're going to allow ADB access. Let it search for our device. We're going to select it from the list. And then we need to pick which branch that we want to install. We're sticking with the Canary build, so we're going to click on that. And then I recommend that you adjust some of these options. So you can choose to force flash all partitions if you want, but it's really not needed here. You can choose to wipe the device if you want, but that's not required if you're going from a version of Android Canary to another version of Android Canary. So we're going to keep all of our data and we don't want to lock the bootloader either. So I have actually unchecked all of these options. Double check to make sure that everything is set. So we have our Pixel 7 Pro that we have connected. We have our ZP11, which is our Canary build. And we're going to click on this blue install build button. We're going to confirm, accept. 
Now you're gonna see your phone reboot a couple of times. You're gonna see this page downloading the firmware. So what we need to do now is we need to let our phone and let the Android Flash tool do the work for us. So there's no need to mess with the USB cable since we want to maintain a stable connection. And there's no need to interact with the device itself unless instructed to do so by this specific page. The amount of time that this update takes to download and install will depend on a few things like how fast your internet connection is, how fast your phone is, and even how fast the USB cable and the USB port is. Either way, we're going to let the phone and the Android Flash tool do its thing, and I'll see you at the end of this install process. Once you see the current status section show a green install complete message, your phone will reboot one last time and it's safe to unplug that USB cable now. I was actually surprised to learn that Google had decided to send out Android Canary over the air updates to individual devices because having those notifications sent out will make it much more appealing for the average user to try it out. But we have to remember that this build is going to be full of bugs, so it's not going to be safe for everyone. Now, I appreciate you all for sticking with me to the end of this video. It really means a lot when I see so many subscribers watching 100% of my work. But I still have to remind you to click on that like button, and I'll see you here in the next video.